Welcome, Chosen One. Welcome, Chosen Ones, to the Ace of Place channel once again. What is this? This bitch is supposed to be on a break and now is posting a second video? Well, the main reason for my break, besides just recovering from mental health problems, is that most of the decks that I like playing and want to play are gonna get so much better with the expansion and so I just I don't feel like playing them now but mill and today's deck are decks that I feel well this, this today's deck will change with the expansion I still feel like you can play a fulfilling version of it in the current game and as you, as you can see, and you can tell by the video title, we're playing Crack Control. I'm not a big fan of control decks in any card game, but this is a deck that just speaks to me. I don't know why, I just really enjoy it. And uh, sometimes, for example now with Francesca all over the place, I just... I go into a dark place in my soul. <laughs> and I bring out the Crack Control. Dark place in my soul. <laughs> Bringing out crack control. There's a theme song for you for this deck. Uh, so yeah, uh, a lot of people are worried that control is going to suffer in uh, in the future after Iron Judgment comes out because of defenders and because of armor. Uh, I th I think control will find a way to pull through. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing this deck even after Iron Judgment just because. Like, Skellige is getting that uh, deal 4 damage for 4, uh, if the unit has armor, deal 7. Just swap out Gutting Slash for that, and you can deal with most armored units. And, uh, you know, we might be getting something else that hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, but also, like, Vabjorn, like, bleeding goes through armor. So just put in some bleeding, and Vabjorn can easily destroy, like, that big monster defender with, like, 7 strength, 4 armor. Put a bleed on it and you can just destroy it. Uh, also, actually a change that uh, I want to make right now, actually. Uh, well, not right now. I'm not going to make it today. But, uh, you know, Karathi Heatwave is a card that's been seeing a lot of play since it got buffed provision-wise. And I think that would fit in quite nicely here to just wipe out a defender entirely. So I, I definitely think at least this control deck will manage. Uh, which is great because this is like the one control deck I actually like. Uh, there's not, not many cards to really talk about. It's generic Skellige stuff, generic control stuff, Call of Arizzi, Geralt of Rivia, Reach's Bloodlust, Muzzle, of course. Uh, but the most fun part of this deck is combining like Crack Ping, Long Shipping with these three damage cards and four damage cards in some instances to kill bigger things. Like, I, I really like Skellige's identity of like having a lot of pings and combining them. And like we have like Cyprian Wily, and you know, we just use a couple of pings to get something down to three. We can just banish it. Doesn't care about shield, doesn't care about anything. Just banishes it. And of course, like without even needing pings, this will banish Roach if against Nilfgaard with a Sire. He'll banish Flying Redanian against Syndicate. So Cyprian Wily is definitely a really fun card to have. Of course, Regis Bloodlust will also banish. I think maybe this is what I'll take out for Heatwave, but we'll have to see. Uh, Yalmaran Crate. This, of course, good with the Scrisp Brawlers. We have some, a good bit of fives. We even have a six with Jenge Fret. So this will always be able to kill something, usually. That is great. That's what we want. We, you know, when the opponent plays something we don't like, we kill it. We shoot it down. It's the American way. But yeah, that about does it for the deck. There's not not much that I have to get into. But uh, we're gonna do some live commentary. I'm trying to do more of this. We're gonna do a few games of live commentary, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good time and enjoy this iteration of Crack Control before it inevitably has to change its ways to deal with armor. I mean, which is good. Like, as, as long as you give Control decks the tools to adjust to armor, I think armor being 
you know, a counter to current control decks is a good thing. But they have to adapt. Control decks have to become big brain. And I like that. That makes me feel even less bad about playing them. Maybe I just like this because of, you know... Skelliger! <laughs> I am Crack and Crate, basically. But he's got his headband, so I'll have to... There we go. Got him. Now I'm just gonna go get my laundry, and then we're gonna play some games. I'm also gonna refill my water bottle. I've been uh, drinking a lot of it because it's really warm in here. We we gotta have it full. You can't play Gwent without a full bottle of water. Water, please sponsor me. Any water. Doesn't have to be Norwegian water that I have access to. It could be... It could just be the ocean. But don't drink seawater. Even though it looks quite tasty in this picture. <laughs> Why don't we just go play games? You know, we, 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 we like to play games here on the uh, gaming channel. <sighs> There's the chat. Red Bad playing the chat. Cleaver Boy. We got the Wily in case he plays Redanian. Um, do we want two? We have a lot of removal that we can. I, I think one is enough. That's arguably not better, though. Arguably not better. But we can manage. Straight into justice. I mean, we can deal with these boys? But I want to set this up first. <clears throat> I think we're fine to do that. It's not like this is Francesca with four Harmony engines, which I did not just play against and lose brutally to. I, not brutally. I lost by two points. I was a card up. Why did I pass in round two? Pro tip. Don't pass against Francesca in round two, even if it's gonna get you card advantage. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. All right, so now it's about time we kill one of these boys. And we're doing so with relatively cheap cards, which is always nice. And if he wants to, yeah, that's, that's fine. Oh, really? Well, that is actually just annoying. I think I will just kill this. And just not be too concerned with what's going on. Man, Bloodthirst is really hard to get. I'm noticing that now. So, I, I think these should be cut. It's probably something you can put in instead. Uh, these are fine. But, uh, honestly, you can turn this into Heat Wave and you don't need these. I mean, there's I, I think they're, they're good cards, even without being able to Bloodthirst them. And I'm guessing he doesn't have Redanian because he's he's not saving his coins at all. What if I'd had Geralt, huh? What if I had had Geralt? 
What would you have done? Nothing. You'd have lost. And he spent all his coins. So he's got to be ready to get out, or he plays Siggy Raven. A Raven. Alright, he's just getting out. What's the cheapest way we can do this? Yeah. Honestly, let's stump the captain. It's... Bloodthirst is not going to be easy, especially against Syndicate, because they have access to every type of card in the game. Alright, uh, we definitely have cards we want to draw into. As you might have guessed, we didn't draw into any of them. That's good that he plays that. That's one last boosty card that he has. Alright, now we need good stuff. We want this, 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 and this. We can get that with two mulligans, right? He, he, he would just get a too easy kill on this. So I'm not going to let him have it. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to kill that much. Oh, but we got two of the good cards. We're going to play Cleaver against Cleaver. That's going to feel just right. Just perfect. All right, Red Bat playing the chat. Show me your moves. That seems kind of desperate, actually. Like... Like, uh... Like, he's lacking proactive plays. It's not a, it's not a bad one. That is a really good card. It's very good. Arguably the best Purify card. It probably is the best, because if you're playing a matchup where you don't need to Purify, it's still a 7 for 7. Every last okay. Yeah, we don't mind that. We don't mind that. You can go back to the sewers, my boy. Alright. Feeling... Kind of okay now. Unlike the previous two matches I played. Um, we still have a few turns to get Cleaver value. Alright, so we got a Crisis on our hands. Do I just Cleaver one of those? And we can deal with the other one next turn, and if he plays a Mink, then we can Mink. Yeah, so that's gonna boost up. We could still Yalmar it next turn with the Disgrace Brawler in our graveyard. Pretty good value. Well then, let's see. I'm 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 Yalmaring this, no doubt. So I think we'll just ping that for. All right. Those are the most important ones, as far as I know. 
I've only played against this deck once, but I, I've seen the rumors. I regret it. Sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. But uh, it, it seems like the, the Seductresses are where it's at. So if you can kill those, you have a shot. And if we could kill all his money users, all his spenders, then maybe we are in a good spot. Just a dip in the pond are that that is a weak play. Uh, we have a primal savagery on this. We could also just get rid of this right now. Like I don't think he plays Redanian. Uh we could just lie. <laughs> I like that. What you got? <laughs> we share the profits, not the work. All right, there's Mink Boy. Lucky. F oh no! If I play that, then it boosts itself. That's a that's a pretty good Vabjorn. Like that's gonna be ten points. If if we don't get something else we need to take care of. Uh, we're gonna hold off, we're gonna keep that bloodthirst. He's played both of his boosty boys, one of which of course is banished, that's why it's not in the graveyard. He still has his leader, so like this four point lead that we have, doesn't matter all that much, but we We have good cards. This is active. This is going to be 10 points. I think we'll be able to trigger this. This can be used to kill something or so. Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah. I mean, it is just one. Do we really care about one? I don't think we do. Yeah, no. And it's only from units when it's just one, so I mean, he's only getting, gonna get two more boosts. No, we don't care about that. Yeah, you know what? Oh, wait, we. I don't need to use my Vabjorn on that because I have other means of removal. All right, now I'm feeling good. I mean, our lead is getting bigger and bigger, and we're taking care of his stuff left and right. In case we get something bigger, I guess we just play this. Does have six coins. More reels, maybe. You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Huh? Melee locked. <laughs> oh no, we tie because of that. Oh, 
Come on, dude. Alright, guys. Harass me in the comments. Let me know what I did wrong. Why I lost. Uh, I didn't lose. I mean, there, there's always those of you who, who like to point out everything I did wrong. So just do that. And uh, I'll see you in the next match. Mm, we, we don't have to worry about one slight seductress. Alright. Queen Kalantha. This is another one of those decks that I would be really happy if I could beat with this deck. Uh, let's see, Bloodthirst. Against NR, I, th I think we could pull it off, but... Honestly, with Portal, I don't think this is going to be very good. Otherwise, I'm liking this. Ah, screw it. Yeah, that, that's that's better. It's miles better. That's a, a battering ram. There we go. Justice. Ah, uh, we're one away. One away. But we're still gonna do it, then finish it off next turn. It's still pretty solid red coin abuse. Left, right, left, right. Yep. I mean, we don't actually have. Ah. Uh. I think I'd rather kill this. And I'm just gonna let that do its thing. It's probably fine. Wow, oh, that's not very good. But do we have. No. All right, he is definitely up to something. Don't hit the botchling, Leprechaun. I don't know. I mean, if you have to do it, right? If you have to do it, then um, I guess I'll banish it. Uh, let us make that inspired a little bit harder to trigger. Red coin abuse. I don't care about you. Mm. Donar or Regis? Donar, obviously, because he's going to be harder to trigger later. Red coin abuse. Intimidating bad boy snapping fingers. Red coin abuse. Shoot. Who's an alien before? I mean, I don't actually care. That's the thing. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good that it's inspired because it has a decent chance of hitting these. That would be hilarious. And there comes the Kalantha. That is high commitment. I mean, we have this now. It's gonna be nine points. We take out that, so it's effectively a decent bit more than that. Uh, it's not gonna be enough to to tie us, but do we care? Who wants to taste Steel? Ah! 
He's probably gonna take the pass here, but. Honestly, I'd say it's fine, right? It's fine. He spent his leader, so it's fine. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's shoot. That's why. <laughs> I was starting to wonder why, why that car, but it's obvious. Shoot. Well, this is not good. I do not want. I didn't want that either. Although we might be able to pull it off. Yeah. No. God, my gosh, you're so bad. Well, so is that. So. Red coin abuse doesn't really matter that much anymore. Can we kill it? Of course we can. Oh god. I mean, this can... This can, uh, this with this can set up one of these. I fear nothing. And it's gonna be bloody barren because I hate his guts so much. And now something special. Well, this feels great. Uh, see, I won't be able to set this up. So I'll save the ping in case I get a chance. What do you, want to do? you know, like with this. Although the. We got him. We got him. That's alright. It felt good. It felt good. GG. Uh, Shoop is not a card that impresses me at all, I gotta say. Like, it, it's funny, and Shoop Mage in meme deck videos, now that's good. That is classic comedy. The rest of Shoop, boring, and generally doesn't even seem that worth it, you know? So, Shoop, sorry, I, I love you in the shop, I don't like you on the card. But I like you guys for having watched this video. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't really like watching control decks. And I know this is probably a huge letdown after the mill video. But you know you can't always play fun mill stuff, jank. You know, sometimes you gotta play stuff that has a chance of working. And uh, like, like I said in the way, way back in the beginning of the video. I will be playing this. After Iron Judgment launches, it, it's it's not a top priority. We'll be covering a lot of decks before I come back to this, but I do want to play this uh, with some of the new armor countering cards if necessary, and uh, maybe you know disprove the people who claim that control might be completely ruined. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, it is my wife's birthday. She does really enjoy reading the comments on my videos, so uh, if you want to leave a happy birthday message to her there, I know she would really appreciate it, and so would I, because it, it'd be cool. But I will see you guys next week. Iron Judgment is less than a week away. It's like five days now. This is Friday. I'm so hyped. I hope you are too. Uh, let me know in the comments what, which of the new revealed cards you're the most hyped about, uh, what decks. Are you the most excited to start playing with Iron Judgment? Uh, personally, of course, I'm most happy about Glynis, the Assimilate 2 card. And I'm most happy to play Assimilate. That's, that, that answers itself. But thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. And I hope to see you again soon.